Hi, I think there is something that we really need to attend to, something that is trending on Twitter and of relevance to all of us as Africans because I really feel it's affecting us as Nigerians and affecting our relationship a lot. There is a tweet recently going on and I read in quotes. I think it's actually rude for you to meet your partner's mom for the first time and she expects you to help her in the kitchen like ma. I'm a guest. <laughs> so I really feel that this is rooted in the African society and really needs to be attended to because somehow you don't rationally expect someone for the first time because you, for some reasons maybe you want to test her out or you want to see if she's going to make a good daughter-in-law to you or something like that you just put her in the kitchen now there are so many comments on this but I want to get you acquainted with some of them one of them says sometimes she could be showing you acceptance in her own way she's treating you the way she treats other female children it's love it's not an expectation servitude is it really so uh, i really agree to some extent that this could just be a display of acceptance another side this is a form of bonding and to see your kitchen etiquette many women will fill this test you're trying to prove to his mother your wife material you're supposed to be trying to impress his mother not come over there for a free meal why are you saying this what you need to prove yourself to anybody you need to prove your worth to anybody i mean it's the first time and if someone gets a first impression of you just uh, by trying to see your kitchen etiquette I, that doesn't sound so mature and rational that doesn't sound so mature and rational to me another comment here says it is very rude i genuinely believe the only reason they do that is to gauge how desperate you are for marriage and how many shits you will take from your in-laws <laughs> well i think this is very very scary because you cannot judge me by saying that if i enter the kitchen then it shows i'm desperate for marriage because this is what many people actually do i mean they they believe that when you want to do the domestic work and all of that it shows you want to prove to be a wife material i i really feel this thing is getting out of hand and we need to really attend to it but i would not leave you just like this i want to give you some few tips as a female that you should hold very close to your heart whenever you are visiting your lover's house for the first time uh, possibly your prospective mother-in-law <laughs> the number one thing that you should always hold dear to your heart is always remain polite and never forget your manners it's very natural to feel under pressure sometimes but you should remember where you're coming from i'm not saying you should go there and put up some pretentious attitude just to get the attention of your perspective and possibly your mother-in-law you should make it a priority to remain polite and remember that every mother would want the best for her son and if you're just rude then you're automatically disqualified Second tip, get to know her and always seek for advice. You should spend time with her. I mean, you should ask her questions, questions concerning herself and also the mother. But you shouldn't act like you're an information digger. You should always remember to be neutral and natural. And just in case you are told to go to the kitchen, if you don't feel comfortable about it, there is absolutely nothing wrong for you to decline but in the african setting that will be interpreted for being rude you know but we never can say just do what you feel is best for you i mean you know your lover and possibly you should be able to observe the environment uh, all i'm saying is try to be natural with yourself tip number three always offer to help you can go to your house, you can go to your home, and you see activities that needs to be done. I'm not saying you should cross your legs like some boss ladies and you just sit down there doing nothing while you watch her do some things. It's not out of place. I mean, it's not something you do just for your mother-in-law or your future mother-in-law. It's something you can do for anybody. It shows cutsy, it shows manners. So when you see her doing something, it's not out of place to help her do it. You can just say, hey, mommy, let me help you do this. But some persons don't like the word mommy. They feel it's a bit desperate. So whatever works for you, 
you should always do that. Tip number four, always compliment her. It shouldn't be a ritual where you keep doing and doing it over and over again, but there is always something special about somebody. So when you see her, it's not out of place to say, oh, you're looking beautiful, you're looking good, I like your hair, I like your dress, whatever it is. I mean, they like feeling like they're on top of the world and they also believe that a woman who can make them feel comfortable will also make their sons feel comfortable. So it is totally in place for you to make her feel that way. Compliment her and tell her she's beautiful, even if she's not. Tip number five, avoid controversial issues. Avoid topics that will introduce the kind of person that you are automatically or how you reason. Topics in politics, religion, finances, and some other controversial issues. It is not too advisable for you to dive right into it for the first time you're having a discussion with your future prospective future mother-in-law. I personally feel that the female folks are under so much pressure in our society, especially when it comes to what we are discussing now in the aspect of always pleasing their mother-in-laws for the first time. And that is the reason we're addressing this today. I would have given you so much, so many tips, but I really want you to tell me what you think about what we're discussing. And uh, you have the comment section right there to drop your comments as to what you think about this and let us know and let's see how we can build a better society and also i feel every gender should have be comfortable and not put under pressure just because you're in love thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and also click the notification button so when we drop a video every time you be the first to get notified you should also check out our facebook page and make sure that you follow us and we also want to say thank you to all our sponsors my name is egbe g god's promise xpb tv africa see you next time